What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf in the Raf cave. Welcome back to another video. This is kind of a multi unboxing upgrade video for my beloved PlayStation 5. What I'm looking to do, guys, is add cooling. I'm going to add a two terabyte uh, Western Digital black SSD inside and also change the face plates to add more cooling. Uh, a couple of vents and add some LED lights around the fan and LED lights around the inside of the uh, of the uh, the black panel. So multi upgrades, guys, in this this bigger video instead of chopping it up into all these little tiny videos of these little doodads here. So uh, if you want to upgrade your PS5 and give it a little pizzazz and give it better cooling and make it look awesome, I know the black faceplate is much better than the white, depending on you know what kind of situation you are. Uh, but also add some LED lights to it. It's going to be fantastic. Give it a little bit of more love and uh, look awesome while playing some sweet PS5 games this year. So uh, let me just kind of walk through the different pieces I purchased. Um, so this one right here is LED light strips for the uh, plate itself. And we'll just do one black pin for everything here. So let's do that first, and I'll show you what this is here. All right. All right, so you get wipes, very nice, nice touch. You got the LED remote control here for uh, color and uh, style. And then the, uh, the two LED strips that'll go inside the, uh, the face plate there. So that's the first unboxing. Second unboxing, I guess we'll just do this here. This is going to be a, a USB 3.0 hub. I bought two different ones. I wasn't sure which one is going to work best. Because I have the uh, the PS5 camera. And also um, a new headset. I'll probably do a separate video for. So this here is a, a USB hub. That goes in front of the console. It's real nice uh, right here. And this has a uh, 3.0 and a 3.1 port as well to add about uh, five more ports. So we'll see. I'm not sure yet if I want to use that or if I want to use the one in the back. This is the one that goes in the back. This uh, port here. If I can hide the wires in the back of the console, it's probably better than the front. Because the front will be my PSVR2, and that's the 3.1 port, so that's already a cable there. All right, so that's some extra tape on this one. This one is for the back. That's micro. That's the old school type. Otherwise, just four USB 3.0 ports there. All right, so we'll, we'll deal with that there. And then this one is a cooling fan. Cooling fan... To go in back of the console for extra cooling. I think it goes right here. So we'll do an unboxing of this one. And this one you can kind of see. You got a pass through USB port. Fan button. Slides in right there. Alright good. You got a thick instruction manual here. And the fan itself. Ooh nice. Alright so the fan button is here. Click click. Pass through USB, and uh, yeah, there are three fans with uh, LED lights as well, and then it'll go right in the back. Like that, so that's going to be sick. Boom. Okay. Very cool. Cooling fan. And then I got this little doodad here. These are USB uh, 3.1 to USB 3.0, I believe. And this will be the USB C to USB 3 there. And this will go into the one of these ports here. Because the, uh, the new headphones I purchased, the, uh, it uses the USB-C dongle for the wireless transmission. 
And since the front port's going to be used with the PSVR 2, you need an extra one, right? So we're going to convert this to a standard USB. So hopefully that works when I test the uh, headphones. Okay, so we're looking at the two terabyte uh, WD Black uh, SN850X NVMe SSD with the heatsink. That's this guy here, Gen 4. This will go inside the PS5 for an extra two terabytes of ultra fast speed. And this is actually going to be faster than the internal hard drive by about a second and a half. So everything is going to go on here first. That will be secondary. That's cool. Now, this cool little box here is the new faceplate and LED light strip for your order. And there's how to remove your faceplate. Whoa. Okay. So what's great about these faceplates is they added... Uh, the ventilation for the fan inside the PS5. So that way the air is not trapped inside the console on both sides. So you have ventilation on, on, the, on both sides of the PS5, which is great. Black, of course. And then they give you uh, the circular, circular LED light strips to go around the fan both sides. So when you turn it on, you'll have LEDs coming out the, the ventilation side. And then, of course, now with this light strip, that'll take care of the uh, inside of the faceplate. So it's going to be a light show on my PS5. I can't wait, man. It's going to be badass. And look at this remote. Wow. Insane amount of buttons. Different modes, colors, music stuff. Look at that timer down there. What is that? Wow. So how long you want it to go on for. Very cool. And then the instruction manual for the Symphony Light Show. And you can even download an app on your phone to control these lights as well. That's nice. Give you a little barcode there to... Holy cow, guys. This is an operation here. So we're gonna definitely gonna supercharge my PS5 for the Raft Cave. It's gonna look gl glorious. LED light show with two terabyte internal, internal storage. And fan on the back as well. Absolutely awesome. So yeah, let's get started, guys. Woo! Gonna be a project. All right, let's get. All right, guys. It's been a long time since I've taken this face plate off. I know you start in one corner. I'm, I'm just guessing. All right, guys. So we're gonna take off the uh, PS5 plates. So you wanna lay it upside down with the disc tray right here, and then you wanna grab the underneath and the far corner and then lift up and out and that slides out like that and then i think you flip it over again and then do the same thing nope ah the opposite way okay all right so there your ps5 is naked now uh, what I would recommend them do is get a vacuum and suck all this out. Which I'm going to do with my handy vacuum here. Alright, so now that we have that out of the way. Now we're going to install the, the new SSD here. There you go, right there. Now, it looks like there's a screw here. I hope that's an extra screw that I can use. Take your memory out. Put it in carefully. Boom. Lay it down. And then, like you just take, you just slide that metal ring to where your memory slot goes and then tighten it down find the grooves and there you go oh amazing there it is upgraded that's 
Awesome. Very easy, guys. Don't over tighten. Sweet. Two terabyte upgraded. Awesome. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do is to add those LEDs around the, the fan there. All right, guys. So what you got to do with the rings is you want to put them together. So you just fit them into place so they link up to a ring. And you have a single USB, so you want to make sure that's going to the back of the unit. And then um, the bottom, you have these little sticky pads you just lift up. I'm just kind of going to feel around and see what the best way to go, the flattest position is. All right, just got to take out these little stickies here. do the other side gather carefully here boom. and boom like that All right, guys, so first they want you to do the, the wet wipes here so the adhesive sticks a little better. So open that up. And kind of rub the inside here of the, the plate is nice and clean. Ready for the sticky. Pull that off there. Let's get started. Turn it. There you go. First plate is done. This strip, I'm going to start right about here and then go around to there. go go ahead and slide this in and put it back all right guys finally got it snapped in it takes a little finagling and you might have to lift up the uh the adhesive and just move it out a little bit so it can all fit but you see i got the strips on the bottom and the wires come out the top all right now we got the fan we can put on the back here just got to line up the uh, USB here. And I think we're going to go like this. Push it down in there. All right, snapped in okay. Fans in place. And hopefully now... When we hook up this hub here to the extra port, we'll be able to hook up both LEDs and then my headphones should go in the back as well. All right, get it all plugged in now. Here. Check that out, guys. Badass, man. So this little remote controls the LED light strips. You can do different colors and different patterns there and do the brightness. And the on and off and then this guy here is going to control the fan on top you can do all kinds of different patterns and swirls and colors and stuff so i think i haven't had a chance to, to test all the different tiles um but that's really cool i like the auto the automatic here the auto it'll just change patterns and it'll do its own thing now on the back that fan there's the fan there it's always on it's either on or off and you have these cool LED uh, blue lights always going for you. 
So fans nice. I like it. And then so far... So far this uh, USB hub is working fine with all the lights. And then the camera is there. So I still have to test the camera. And I have one, one extra slot here for my headphones. So we'll see if that all works with that pass-through. Then the external hard drive is there. But uh, heck yeah, man. That's pretty sweet. All right. So right now we got to format the uh, SSD. So we are going to format it and select let that bad boy format and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer all all my internal internal games to the uh <clears throat> the new hard drive. So it looks like we're getting 65 51 megabits per second. Very nice. Uh, okay. It is formatted. Oh, that's so cool to have different patterns. It keeps it uh it's just always something new. Now still have to uh I'll play around with the lights on the uh the Xbox one, but that's pretty sick. I got the PC going crazy, the the PS5 going nuts, and then we'll we'll work on the Series X, but that's pretty sweet. With that extra fan there. Fantastic. Looking great. Maybe I'll have to try this one. For the front there. Alright, so far so good guys. All right, guys, I've had some time with uh, all the upgrades of the PS5, or my PS5. And uh, starting from, let's see, uh, the the dark plates are awesome. So both of them are great. Um, I'm, I'm glad there's actually a fan uh, cut out on the, uh, the plates themselves so you let more air out. That's a winner. Uh, the LED strips are amazing, and I love the way they look, and they're bright and colorful, and they're amazing, just awesome. Uh, as far as the LEDs inside, a little dim. I mean, I said they're a little brighter, but I still see them uh, shining through the uh, the fan, you know, pop out of the uh, the plate. So that's fine. You know, it's just something else to add to your PS5. So that's really nice. Uh, the M2 uh, WWD. Anyway, that that memory stick is absolutely fantastic. I was able to transfer over 500 gigs in 12 minutes. It was just crazy. So. From now on, all my games for PS5 are going to go on that memory stick. Everything else will go on the internal, and then all my PS4 will be my external hard drive. So definitely upgrade your memory. It's, it's, it's awesome. To put that in there, it's fantastic. Uh, the fan on back, that little blue LED fan, fan, that's going back. Because what they did not do is keep 3.0 USB on the actual pass-through. It's downgraded to 2.0. So that's why my camera didn't work. So that's that's going back. I'm going to try a different fan that has a 3.0 port pass through. So I'm not losing anything there. So I'll update you on that video later on. Uh, the, the USB hub works just perfect. So that's fine. The front I'm going to get rid of. I'm, I don't want to detract from the LED light strip by having that thing in the front. So I'm going to return that and just keep that strip for the back. Um, so that'll be fine there. My racing wheel will go in the front. That's where that'll go. So that's free. And then the, the VR2, PSVR2, will go in the USB 3.1 uh, port there. So those will be perfect for those too. And uh, the little uh, uh, 3.0 to 2.0 port, I'm going to test that when I do the unboxing of the headset. I'll plug that in. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Um, so then that's that's good. Other than that, guys, all those, uh, all those pieces, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to pick up any of those. But for right now, man... I am loving the way my PS5 looks, and I'm very happy uh, that I put in those uh, LED strips and upgrade the memory and all that great stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share, and see you next one. Home Theater Rules. Wrap out. See you guys.